All right, and welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we are on air, and it's Friday. I hope everybody has a good Friday when you get done work, go home, and get on your project and have fun all weekend. I want to give a shout out to a man named John. Met him this morning. I'm thinking his name was John Eddy. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking it is. Uh, they give me good comments this morning, and I appreciate it. Um, they say they watch every day, and I've had a lot of people say they watch every day, and it's kind of, wow. But anyways, um, we're back on the Thunderbird. What we're going to do today is we're going to make the sail panel come up to the new metal window that we have in place. When we put a, met when we put a window in this piece of metal here, uh, we'll take you along with us. We'll probably go do a junkyard or something. Just take a look around and see what there is. Uh, and if you stay to the end of the video, I will show you a little bit of progress that we're doing and uh, we'll keep that till the end. You stay to the end and you'll get to see what we're doing. A little bit of progress on something else. All right. Um, what I've got going on here is I got this piece tacked in place. I've got it. You Jolene can see over there. I've got it tacked twice. I just kind of tacked it in place. It has holes where it's bolted down to where it fits. I just stuck it in place and tacked it. You can see on this side, if Jolene wants to show the camera, you can see a piece of round rod going there with a piece of round rod tacked to the wheel well. If Jolene wants to come around this side, I've got the exact same thing going on this side. Um, what's going on here is when I cut the roof off, uh, there was metal missing. If, if, if Jolene wants to come from the back, the back side, when, when this roof come back here, uh, the roof was welded on here, and this front piece is welded on up here. So there was a hole in here where I had to fix. So I just welded a new piece in here, uh, put a piece of round rod from the p corner post of the roof, and went back to uh, the trunk. And then I laid a piece of metal, and then I had a place to tack that on, weld a new piece of metal in there. Then I welded a new piece of metal in there to close that off. Also, what I was thinking with the round rod, it gives me some strength. And it gives me a place to weld the sail panel over on this edge when it comes time. On the sail panel, I, kept, I said yesterday I'd like to see that in one piece. That seems like it would be a hard piece to make in one piece because I'd have to know or I'd have to figure out the, the shape of this. This is, not, this is wider down here than it is up here. So obviously it's got to continue on getting narrow when it comes up to the center of the window. As I lay that on there, you can see how, um, how far up I'm going up on that window piece. Uh, that's how far I'm going up on it, and it shows you right there. Um, so when I go up on this piece, the trunk lid is not bolted on yet. It's kind of laying down its hole, so you can see how it's got the edge all the way along it. So there's no true reed going on with the trunk lid. I'm saying that this is the piece with the true reed. You can see how when I lay that on there, how far that goes up on that metal window. And if I had um, put that bigger window in there, um, there would have been a lot going on. Also, yesterday, when I was talking about a seam, this is the seam that I was talking about. It would have to go all the way up to here. And then I'd have to make sure that I made something nice and tight and right all the way along the back of the window in the rubber, which it probably would not have fit the rubber. Because if we look here, this, this part here is lower than up here. So when we bring the roof forward, that's what bring that metal up a bit in, in, on top of the roof. Uh, we are going uphill with the roof a little bit. So, which makes this, um, make that window come up some. So basically, um, we're down where it's supposed to be for the window opening, but I don't know where I'm going with that. But also, what I'm saying is we probably would have not had the right um, piece going up here or the right rubber. It kind of would have probably tilted down a little bit uh, to get to the rubber. And we don't want that. We want it to keep going up for shape. You can see how um, it's smaller from the round rod on this side. You can see how it's smaller down here and then it gets a little bit bigger and it does the exact same thing on that side. It kind of runs up a little bit and when we make this panel we want to run this panel up a little bit to make it we wouldn't want to run it down towards the window and that's not that's for sure. We'd want to run it up so everything runs off. When I said the seam goes from here up to the corner of the roof We'd have to make a, if that's, this was removal, I'm just going back a little bit. It, we'd have to make a drain in here 
when we put this on, there's a little drain thing going in here where it runs out through the trunk lid. But we'd have to make a drain underneath there before we even put this bad boy on. So there'd be work underneath of it for the rain not to get inside the wheel well and the quarter panel. We'd have to make sure it seals there. We'd have to make sure it's, it had a rain gutter there on a rain gutter there. It just would have been so much more work. Um, with the window, the, the, I was looking at the Jolene's phone. It said, you waste a lot of metal there. Well, no, we had to, you basically, if you're going to replace a window, you want to cover the whole window. And then when you get the window, then that's when you cut your shape out of it. You would never want to go over to a piece of metal and try to cut the outer edge of it and then plop a window in the middle of it. You want to make sure that you have the metal that you're going for. Trace your piece, out, then cut your window out, and then put your window in. And the metal that come out from the window, we would never throw that away. That just goes down to the other end for smaller stuff. No waste, no nothing. Uh, so, uh, no waste. Um, so I'm going to make a... Uh, sail panel for this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make it a little bit different. I'm going to this is my plan. I've got a piece of round rod here now for security to weld this piece here, so there's something strong there. I've got this piece here to weld um, to come along the back that fits the trunk lid and seals everything off. Looks right. When it comes to this piece, I'm going to put a piece of exhaust pipe. I'm going to cut a piece of exhaust pipe in half and run it from here up to there. So that gives me structure in the middle of that. I've, if I run one piece all the way across, I really have got no structure for a nice piece of metal to go in that sail panel. So I'm going to run a piece of exhaust pipe cut in half up to here, run one there to there. I'll make a nice panel for this. I'll make a nice panel for the center and I'll make a panel for there. So I'm really going to be making it out of two pieces of exhaust or one piece of exhaust, two pieces of exhaust pipe, panel, panel, panel. I'm going to make it out of five pieces. And I said I wanted it out of one, so I'm really going to have to do a, a good job to, you know, to make it look nice. But to make it out of one panel where it's going around like this, and I don't know when I'm drawing, my, when I'm making my pattern, whether I'm getting this the right shape or not, because when I look at it, I want it to go up. Well, it's wider here. It's wider in the back than it is up here. So I, st I want that angle still coming so it comes together a little bit in this center because it's not running straight. So um, let's, get, let's get at it. First thing I'm going to do is cut a piece of exhaust pipe in half. Let's get at it. See if we can shake it down a little bit here. All right, I got a piece of exhaust pipe over here. I got a couple pieces of exhaust pipe. I got a little piece right there. I'm going to go with the bigger piece. And the reason being is I'm thinking that, I'm not sure what I'm thinking. I'm just going to go with a little bigger piece. I'm going to cut this in half. Let's find the length first. We're going to want it longer than, than it shows right there. And the reason being, we got that distance there to make up for. When we come up to the window, we'll be able to weld it right on there. So we'll have to make it longer than we want it. We'll make it at least that long. The reason, the reason I'm using the exhaust pipe is for structure from this piece over that piece. Look at that, we got Jimbo coming in the house. Hey Jimbo, you're just in time, buddy. We're filming. Imagine our people would like to see you. <laughs> They you, were all nice and neat. You bring me coat hangers as a gift? Well, I didn't bring you very many. Oh, okay. Because I seem, I've used this many in three days. And at that rate, I'll run out and have to come back and get some of these. Well, I'll have to come visit you then. But Well, thank you for the gift. I got this many. What else? Down you? to this many, down oh, wow. to this many. Like, as I said, I brought some. And there's that chrome ring. Man, that looks good. No, it's not perfect, but... It's better than road uh, scrape. That looks good. You know, it's, that looks real good. Uh, it's 40 years old. Yeah. That looks really good. All right, I'm gonna put that aside. I can get to work. 
just making a sale panel right Ooh. now at the present moment. Jim, you're allowed to throw your, your um, two cents in anytime you want to. And, you, and you've got a seat right there if you'd like. Oh, good. Ocean feels looking good, Jimbo. That's way too much bend on that. Way too much. Maybe I can cut that in half and get what I need. Yeah, I like it. It looks good. You like the, the Thunderbird, yeah. you're saying? Yeah. Oh, cool. I can flatten that out some. Or just cut that in half. What I want to do is I want to cut a little piece of I'm going to cut just a little piece off of this. Then I can put it on the end of that sail panel and know what shape I'm supposed to have. Flatten that out. You can see I got the half the exhaust pipe. I'm looking for this shape right here. Uh, I'm going to cut it in half again. Closer. Hit that with a hammer. So what I would do is I'm just trying to get the shape and that way there I can nail the shape down from that piece that I have put in there and then I can nail it down to the to the window. And I come up with this this idea to try to make it a little quicker than if I had to make that paint. I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing or if I'm not doing the right thing. It's kind of a kind of a game I'm playing. And then I run that shape right to the window. I'm yeah, it's got to, a little bit of a concave curve, doesn't it? Like, it, do, or, it not, do, not necessarily concave, but two directional curve. It does. I'm going yeah, to try so to just. Yeah, that's kind of complicated. It's a little bit complicated, isn't it, Jimbo? Yeah. I'm going to flatten one piece out um, just with the rubber. You hammer. almost have to kind of like make it one step and then do another technique to it and then another technique and then finally in the end get what you want. Try it. Even that, even you're pounding that, you should almost pound the ends more than the middle to start to get that bit of a curve. Because it does 
The yeah. trunk is not in place. No. Oh. That's going to have to be cut. I'm going to have to cut that. We're going to have to cut that. It's kind of a hard panel to make. Not kind of. Uh, it is. I want the same shape coming from that sail panel up to the back window. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. You have a slight curve to it. I'd like it. Yeah. Just a little bit. Just enough to make it impossible. <laughs> you said it, Jimbo. And you said it. I'm going to cut this one in half, and I think we'll have the, the shape that I need. Because I can flatten this out a little bit more. With the rubber hammer, I'm not, dent not really not putting no dents in the in the exhaust pipe. Just kind of flatten it out. It is. Just notice that we're a little wider here than we are in the center. So. So let's cut it. Gonna be easy to bend. Now yeah, we're getting somewhere. I'm gonna take and knock the, the sharp stuff off of the flapper wheel. it to length, see if I can't get it to fit. You got your wheel almost done, Jimbo? Getting close? Um, I'm hung up on the body mount, which might take forever. So I'm not gonna say I'm almost done. You're hung up? Yeah, I, I'm i dealing with um, slightly thick metal for what I'd like with the torch, so okay. it gets complicated for me. Okay. And it's a little bit sort of like this. It, it's not a one-step deal, it's a many-step, and it's a little hard for me to focus the end of what I want because it doesn't really show it to me. I kind of have to make it in progress as I make up my mind after, it, after I see the results of what I do Yeah. without even knowing it. It's almost like, okay, go out there and work on that for a little bit, and I'll go out and see how you're doing. <laughs> and then I go out and see, oh, that's what I got. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Because it's, I can't even, it's so complicated, I can't even memorize it to go in the house and think about it. <laughs> so it is true. This stuff takes your brain away from stuff, does it not? If you're thinking about this stuff. Um, I kind of have, my motto is, if you're going to think about something, you might as well do it instead. But... Um, Isn't that right? Yeah. Well, Christ, I'd be here all the time then. <laughs> oh, I well, am. Uh, Stay still and I'll just walk right around you. Yep. No, I want that. Just trying to get that fit there. Give me my marker. The same what distance from there to there that's not fitting is where I'm gonna take off where it's where it's hitting. Basically that's how I scribe things. That's how I do it. Me and Jolene met a guy in Halifax that knows you. 
knows of you or, you know, help us. Yeah, we did so. Alrighty. I'm not waving to you, I'm just knocking my glove off. What are you driving today? Oh, my yellow car. No, nothing fancy yet. Tell me something, if you look up that line, yeah. Does it look like I'm going in nice, or does it oh, look like I'm... Move your hand for a sec. Uh, that way at the window. A little, little bit more. A little bit more. Are you serious? Uh, that's getting closer. It's smidgen more. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, I'd say so. Why not? You kind of have to eye the two at the same time. Well, yes. This this is getting this is wider back here, so we're yeah. kind of going up and straight to a. Is if that going anything, straight? a little more. I'll knock a little bit off, and then we'll yeah. try it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a done deal yet. No. No. I'm, I might even um, well not say might. I'll probably do a measurement and find center and try to get it. Try to do somewhat like that. I like the eye. Believe me. Um, the eye is the way to go for me, but it would be nice to get somewhere close. Why did I cut that so weird? No, I guess that's the way. It has. See, this, that, that trunk lid sure does throw you off, doesn't it? Um, it's you have not. to use your imagination, and it helps if you kind of keep this one in sight, too. I'm going to cut another one, then, because yeah, that fits nice up there. I can trim a little bit off that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And it kind of gives me that shape. If I sunk that down in there, I could flatten it out a little yeah, bit Yeah, and then you one. flip the other piece that you cut off and put it on the bottom of that. What do you mean? Put, put that? Like, here's one curve, and here's the other curve. Well, I'm thinking, I'm hoping I can get that in sheet metal when I just bend oh, it up just a little tiny bit and just get yeah, it a little... you don't want to make it any more complicated than you have to. I, I'd like that part. <laughs> yeah. um, when I do this, how do, when I put this, I could make that backwards. I know I can. Um, this one goes on there like this. Wherever that goes. And that might not be... Right? So if I want this one on the other side, um, can't put them right like that because it'll fit the same side. This one's not as wide either. One's wider than the other. I'm just kind of wondering if I can still get the... Actually, that one's probably nicer. We'll just do one at a time. I'll we'll just mark this one on my... Might have to make that one smaller to match this one. Oh, I should bring that right over. Whew, that fit good. You want to do that eye nut thing again for me, Jimbo? Uh, that way. There. Right there? Uh, yeah. Maybe a little too much, but yeah. Pretty close. I'm going to say that's it. Left it a little long, and the reason I left it a little bit long is I want to set it on there. I don't know if I even got it right. 
That's pretty well the shape right there. Uh, towards Jolene, just a smidgen at the window. Jolene. Uh, too much. There. Okay. Uh, pretty close. Pretty close. Alrighty. I'm going to cut this one. This this one here is is a little bit more narrow than this one here, and I think I'm going to make them both the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one on here, put one line on the same. Doesn't your sheet metal kind of go on that anywhere? It does. I just like the curve disappears underneath the sheet it, metal. It will, but I'm just I don't know why, but I I have a problem that way. I like both things. I couldn't um, bury it. It puts your simple judgments out when one is <laughs> a little bit different than the other. It does. What you do here, you can't do there. You got to do a different. I, I more this like car is made a little bit to your standards on how the panels blend together. Like your front fenders and the front bumper area above the bumper is all one piece. There's no the fender. It doesn't actually have fenders. It, it's one piece. Right yeah, around. pretty cool. Eh? From door to door. Do you notice the bottom of the doors too? Or bottom of the fenders? Yeah, are? and that's your kind of style. In a it lot is. Of cars. I, I it's like all that. One piece. I like that style because and this is all going to be one piece as well. Exactly. Okay. I like that style because yeah. and the doors are in the body. Not you know, you know what it on takes to adjust something. Yeah. Oh, there's I, no adjustment when yes, it's all one exactly. piece. Exactly. I, I like that part. The adjustment is grinding the panel. Right. Yeah, the body mounts that I'm doing on the Oldsmobile are a problem for me because I don't like using a grinder. I'll come over and grind for you. If I can cut more out, yeah. then I'd have a free, free to do what I want. Yeah. But I'm leaving stuff there that I should cut out, but I don't want to grind. Or I have to, I have to complicate the patch. Leave it while we're in I'll give you that, you're grinding and then, your for it. And then go underneath and weld it up and cover it over the same way to make it look presentable. I think. Alrighty, I'm going to take and try to get a mark on that window to show me exactly where I want things. We'll see what happens. I've been looking at a lot of my stuff and it's bent. And I know why, because I use it for everything. You know what I'm trying to tell you. I'll use anything for anything if I try to get something done. I'm just going to mark this on, put this on there. And I'm not going to credit myself for this idea. This was Jolene's idea. And I, and, I, and I knighted her before the video come on for student of the year. I give her a little tap on the shoulder and said, you're the student of the year. But I probably shouldn't have done that until we see how it works. Should have been. Yeah, a lot of my problems would be over if I was more happy using a grinder. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's something you have to get used to. Not everybody just going to grab a grinder. Like I, I use a grinder as minimum as I possibly get away with it. Well, they are and they're a dangerous tool. In bad places, they're worse. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you get them in around. And the marker mark is almost accurate compared to the pencil being taped on the bottom. 
like half and half because like your line we'll get somewhere it's close yeah it, that didn't go so good over here I had it run up too far with the marker did I get the puller up there too far just get it on there where it marks instead of getting it on there where it pushes up on it it's funny it goes down there the same as it did the other way well it, it's 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 a, something to go by I guess it's not that real that fantastic but... Ooh. See if I get the it, it up too far. That one worked out really good. I like this one way better. But no, no, they're both the same. Well, <laughs> yeah, take... actually, technically they they're, they're not so bad, are they? They are. They're not bad. I'm gonna just wipe one off and try it again. When I go up too high up on it with with the ruler and the marker, it pushes the marker up. Yeah. I just got to get the marker on it. If I can, it makes it react better. I'm going to take that one off and just try it again. What I mean by putting the marker on, when I push up on it, up goes the ruler too high, if you know yeah. what I'm... If I just got to get the... the yeah, it's, it's a fine line. Don't matter for skips, as long as they don't press up on it. Dotted line. <clears throat> That's not it. It's not the one I want. That don't look bad. That don't look bad. Alrighty. What I'm gonna do, Jimbo, is I'm gonna actually I should find try to find center. That would probably help a lot, wouldn't it? Marker. Tape measure. I'm gonna hold that right on that. Um, 57 and a half. What's half 50? 50? 50, 56 is. Well, half of 57 is 20. If it was 58, it'd be. Uh, if 58 is easy, so it's just quarter. Less What's that now? 57 is 20? 57. So, so I just asked her quarter. So 58 3 quarter. 28 3 quarter. 58 3 quarter. It only took three of us people. It only took three of us. 28 3 quarters. Oh, I'll measure from both sides if you want to check it. You think? Well, that's how I check the metal. I check, I mark. Oh. Mark, measure from one side, and then I'm gonna go to the other side and, and make another line, and then the middle is in between. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, 29 three, 28 three quarter. Yeah. Now I've got two pieces of metal here. I'm trying to get this done within the time, if you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you guys are usually not doing this right at this hour. We You're waited. Late. For, we actually went to. Uh, Subway and had 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 breakfast, and then uh, we were hoping that you would show up so everybody gets to see you. Towards you at the front. Towards which way? At the front. Uh, there's getting closer. Yeah. Right there. Um, just a smidgen more. Look good. 
Yeah, I believe so. All right, I'm just going to do this. Go the other side. You guys stay right there, Jim. Before me, okay? Yeah, about there somewhere. Yeah. Look good? Yeah, I think this end, uh, your curve doesn't match the curve that you're putting it on. There, okay. I understand. I'm too yes. long. Yes, oh. Okay. I'm too long is what's going yes, on. Yes, right there, looks good. Maybe well, towards too... that, away from you at the window. Well, I have to put just it up. Just a smidgen. On, I have to put it up there on yeah, that. Yeah, I understand. Uh, away from you at the window, just a smidgen, there. Right there? Yeah. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little measurement yeah. and see how far away from the center I am on each one of those. It don't look right, but it, not saying it don't look right. This one looks like it come down, but I didn't have it on that. Yeah. On the beginning of that, uh, where's you see in that six and three quarter or six and five eighths. Jimmy, you got a good eye, buddy. You got a good eye. So I'm going to mark this. Actually, so bad you didn't have a junk trunk clip. Just I was thinking the exact same thing, Jimbo. <laughs> I'm going to go right there. I'm going to go um, right there. That's my line. Six and five eighths. On the other side. Hard to hold that tape in the same time. that one and then down I'm gonna stick one on and then we'll make the other one match like my face yeah, and just ass. put your tack in a spot mm. it's easy to grind off yeah I'm gonna to try to put a tack on it that's easy to grind off how's that try Oh, what? oh! You're going to cut it off to fit down in there first, or I'm going to cut it off to fit in, yeah, to fit down in this to make yeah. this. I cut it a little bit long, so I'm going to cut it off to fit. So I've got to make it a little bit shy. See what happens. You know, see what happens. Probably not, something I should be rushing it. Nope, just take the other grinder and hit it. Now we're talking. Get it on the right angle.
I'll tack it once. And that way yeah, I there. have a good visual from right here. If it's going up or not? Yeah. Okay. If it's at the same arc. Like I realize the trunk is low, but I can see the arc of it. I'm going to... I will, I'll keep my eye close. I'll close my eyes at the crucial time. I'm going to knock it on there. Okay, wait a minute. Just a sec, I'm going to knock up, this... You're up on the window, too high. I'm going to knock it on here. What are you thinking about uh, your window? If you can squeeze the yellow part up as high as you can get it, you're better off than having it slightly low. So, is that that's up too high, you figure? No, uh, try to put that as high as you can on level, right here. Yeah. Because you're plenty high on this side. Check that, check that out then. Uh, plenty high on the windshield, on the window side. Too high? I'll hold it, I'll hold it and you stand back there and take a look. It looks too high. Yeah, and it is. It goes uphill. It's yeah, a smidge knock, long. Knock some off it then. Yeah. You know, before you put it on and yeah. eye it, you might as well know it does point uphill a little bit compared to the arc that we're working with. It's kind of like uh, I could have been real polite and keep my mouth shut and him had to cut it off and drive it again. <laughs> I've done that to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I believe in uh, speaking. I just took a mark off it. Whoops. That looks better. Yeah, that looks better. Oh, <laughs> I'm just going to tack it on there. Yeah. Still move every way. back and take a look at that. You're right, Jim Bucket. I like I like the yellow. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta come down some, hasn't it? Well it's not going not, up. It's a little it'd be a little easier if the trunk lid was properly adjusted, but it's not. <laughs> I say it's gotta come down some don't you Jimbo? In the front. Just yeah. Just like that? Uh, yes. Yes. Go ahead. I tacked it. That's a nice line there that's going on there. Too high or? It, it does go up the hill just a smidgen, I think. But maybe that's a delusion. Maybe when the sheet metal goes over it, where it welds on is in a slightly different place, so it might be all right. When the trunk lid comes up too, that like the trunk lid being down doesn't help me any yeah. at all, does it? Um, you have to use your imagination, and you have to do that anyway. It almost maxes out your imagination. You, you know, you can estimate it, but if this was more accurate, it'd be a little easier to estimate that. It would. I'm going to but, put that one on. That don't look bad. Why don't you put that one on, Jimbo? Okay. Come yeah, take a look it's at it an now. illusion. Come take a look at it now. Uh, yeah. Huh? Makes it better, yeah. don't it? Yeah. And, yeah, that, no, they're both, they look good. You heard the people, you heard them. It's better to have it going up a little bit than down a little bit. You got that right. You know, it can have a slight curve up and it wouldn't matter, but a slight curve down would look odd. Looks terrible, don't it? Don't look odd, it looks terrible. Not terrible, but... Let's do this. The 
same height would be nice on the back window. And this stuff will give me a little structure from that piece going all the way across there, you know, give me a little strength. Need to knock that off, paint off that. So you're welding it to your metal back window that looks nice. and your sheet metal and then cut that out after and then put your, your window frame in. Like, you're gonna, yeah. That's a good idea because then you already have this template or that plate in there already. Yeah, like I mean. You know, to go from here to there for the, your next right. step. That looks good. You yes, know, Jimbo? it looks exactly the same as it did. Yeah, it looks real good. I'm going to attack that there. I'm going to attack it. I, I attacked her in a hard spot. I don't know why I attacked it way over there, but I did. <clears throat> no, that looks really good. Awesome. Happy about that. Happy! Try to flop this end up just a little bit to get the little more curve. Alrighty. Let's say I got that. We are going to take a look at it. Just going to visualize it for a little bit here. Take a look at it. It looks good running this way. You know, we're both starting the, the um, exhaust pipe is starting the both on the same. Like, you know, it's starting. Yeah, and it's in the center. Look, like it's running. It looks, uh, I would say, perfect. I'm not even going to do anything to it more now. Yeah. Jimbo Definitely. said it. Jimbo no, said it. It looks perfect. Um, I'm, in, I'm going to put some more tacks on that, but I'm going to make a pattern. Yeah, because you don't want to put your sheet metal there, pry a little bit, and have your tack break in that move. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make a quick pattern, just to show what we're going for here. See, if I try to make that all to one piece, can you imagine me trying to get that bent in there and going time consuming? Oh my goodness! You would be like twenty times longer than any procedure that you could come up with in pieces. I'm, I'm thinking yes. That's what I'm thinking. Like, whenever I do a complicated thing, I try to do it in sections rather than one piece. Because, you know... I try to get that fit in that back window first. Probably could have went the other way with it, like this. Um, still can. I still can, yeah. <laughs> you said it, Jimbo. You just you, made you, you still that, that was a practice cut. So you're <laughs> more familiar with the scissors. <laughs> no, can't do that yet. You know, that's how I would do my woodworking, too. I don't use tape measure. I fit the board, mark it, cut it. Um, trim boards in a crooked old house, and you want a, the board that has a certain twist to it with a curve that fits here just right. So you go to your stockpile, and you find a board that measures up to that, and then you fit it, and all you got to grind a little bit here, always put an X on the back side 
because when you go to nail it, there's a chance that it might get turned around. You put it on, get all your nails in, then realize you put the board on backwards and it doesn't fit here. You know, so it, I the back side should always have an X on it. <laughs> now, carpenters have a habit of using a tape measure. But so since I don't use a tape measure, that makes me actually not a carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> and I've seen you try to do carpenter work with a tape measure, and you're not much better than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you. Yeah. Telling on me. Yeah. In an old house, you don't use a level, and you don't use a measuring tape. The board has to fit a little more precise than that. <laughs> I'm gonna do that again. I can imagine trying to cut one long piece and trying to get that all the way across there and get that to fit that back window. Ugh. Well, you could have made a bunch of those, then taped them together and fit them in. Yeah. And spent the hours with the Bristol board doing a perfect job and then cut your metal. But then you still have the bends to make. And what when you start making bends, the compound usually alters the actual shape and then, it, then the whole circle's out. You know, it, Bad. Oh, well, shouldn't say that. Got to get that in place here. That's where I get that up, sweetheart. Not bad. The way things fit. You know, before you go too far, I'm going <laughs> to voice one little personal thing just an idea nothing more if this line start right here came down to there that would be pretty abstract we did that in, in a drawing uh, no we we did that on the video we put that on there and did that and uh, it didn't look too bad but you know like this line left and this one exaggerated but uh, i know one thing i don't like the looks of these the back end shortened no, I didn't like it either, no. Jimbo. I like the one that had this narrow look. That looked kind of sporty, and I like this. And I don't really like them original with the roof way back. It looked too heavy. It's all an acquired taste, is it not? Well, it's also, um, if, if 10 people do it a certain way, you want to do it a different way. You know, which is quite understandable. But that look, I like it. But this style must have kept right through up into the 80s, like this particular style, you know, because I, like way up in the 68 or like um, even in the early 70s, they still looked sort of like this, maybe a little longer. But they, you know, like 57 looks like the 53s. And then this 58 went right through to way up in the 70s, I you know, sort of look. There, I think the newer ones are a bigger car. You know, like when they got up in the 70s and 80s, I think they were like a bigger, heavier car. That's not bad. But oh, just, pass it over here, I'll flip it over and see if it fits over here. I don't want to do that because it might be way off. <laughs> I should have made it just a little bit bigger so it doesn't fall down inside, you know, I kind of made it right on the money. Um, too, yeah, too precise. Put some tape on that, but just to hold it. Oh, should fit it over here. You know what I mean? If I hold it. When I... bum, 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 bum. Tape, no, that tape measure will do. Tape. Thank you. That'll hold it up. Oh, I was going to say the tape. You know what I mean? I kind of made it fit there, which I probably shouldn't have. 
because it falls down inside. That there needs to come out a little bit more. I'll have to add some to that. What's that, sweetheart? Yeah. <coughs> Which side did I cut that off of? to get it to stay up that needs to come off some this has to come off here too i think a little yeah. bit see i'm a little shy in the back i was trying to doesn't quite fit up there nice does it um Oh, it's that kink in the paper. Right there. Let's come off so. Be nice if, if it fit nice up around the back, up around the window. And the reason being is um, it'd be easier to weld. that would fit along that line nice now I just add some on the back of that I just want to see if that's straight on that exhaust pipe it would be nice and no it needs to come over a bit What time we have? 57. 57. Alrighty, what I'll do is that's what I'm gonna do there. I'm gonna make one piece. I got a little I got a cut right on the money so it's falling down in because it'd be butt welded there. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a piece out of metal and make it a little bit bigger. And when I make it out of metal, it's not gonna fall down in there. Uh, we'll put it through the roller. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld the weld these in. I'm very happy with the exhaust pipe; it gives me that nice roll. Um, we've got a pattern for one side. Um, we got a pattern for one side. I'll probably roll one piece, put one piece in, then we'll do a video. We'll show uh, doing the center and doing the other side. No doubt in my mind. Uh, let's go for a second. I said I'd show everybody something. Jim wants to try that out. We're going to wait. Well, I think it fits better on this side. Well, there you go. As long as here, put that put that underneath your your uh, paper and see if it, it holds it up. Just break right, right the back. I'm gonna get some tape. It, uh, this side it needs to be eighth of an inch wider here. Right here? Yeah. Or no, I got quite a bit on. Oh, the, you had the same problem on the other side, didn't you? No, it yeah. fits better on this side. Oh, does it, it not? It does. Yes, yes, it fits real good. Well, that gives that's promising. Isn't it? You know, when one side fits better, when you fit it on that, make both like this and yeah. go with it. And yeah. Fill in the gap because when you butt well, you know. Yeah. But no, I. I'm going to take a look back here when you get that. But that on. does fit in there. Oh, that's nice. That looks good. You know, I mean, it look, looks yeah. good this way when you look across and here like this. Bit, it has the upward curve just yeah. enough to match the trunk lid. So that's where we're going with that. And you can see how far up on that back of that window it is. So. There it is. Let's go over here for a second. I said I'd show you something, give you a little, a little tickle. Wind's blowing out a little bit. It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. Beautiful day. So you can obviously see something, something like what I was making there, that package tray is going to take a little bit of more time than an hour to make something. So we've we've got a mechanic friend helping us. Uh, uh, he's not ready for the camera yet, I don't think, from what I'm, what I'm understanding, but he will be, no doubt in my mind, someday. Um, but he's down here, he's put the back brakes on. Um, we've got all brand new back brakes on it. 
We got any brakes? Oh, no. it's all new brakes on. We cleaned everything up, put them on. Um, he's got uh, the brake lines run for for the back wheels. Uh, we've got them run. We had to change the flex line because where I had where the flex line used to be right here, when it had a little uh, vent, the flex the the flex line here was over here uh, we drilled it and tapped it and moved over here because the the brake line once once this was bolted up there we couldn't get the brake line in it was too tight of a curve oh too close yeah right. and that's the stuff you don't see when you're yeah, doing yeah. something like that then we've got the brake line uh, running to the front we got them all stainless steel clipped and riveted up to the front so we're going up to the front here now uh, i see we had a little mouse uh, get into some rice and put it in jolene's headers when we pulled them off but we've got the brakes on we got the yep. brake lines running forward. So I guess next is doing the front brakes, running the lines, and then we're up. Uh, then we're on to the engine. So just little bit by little bit, we'll get it put together and get it clean, get everything rock and roll, get everything tight and right, and uh, we'll be on our way. There's the Pontiac. Pulled that up from the building. Um, that was down the other building, and we kind of just pulled it up. And there it sits in yeah, all our glory. The, I changed the oil in my yellow car the other day. Yeah. I had to take that plastic thing off the top of the motor. A mouse nest <laughs> right on top of the, between the spark plugs underneath that plastic thing on top of the head. Yeah. All, you know, like seeds and hay and everything. And I drive the car every day. Warm, keep them warm. Every day I drive the car. And yet there's a mouse nest on top of the motor. Right on. All righty. Thanks a lot for coming back. We had Jimbo in today. Um, thanks. I'm Appreciate the eye, Jimbo. Good eye. Um, appreciate the eye. We've got um, a little bit more to do on that. We'll do a little bit more tomorrow. Um, yeah, I thought I would get more done on that package tray within the air, but let's face it, to time you're cutting exhaust pipe in half and trying to fit it in there and make it look right, draw a line, scribe it, get the piece going. Uh, we'll do a little bit more today, and then we'll show you exactly what I do tomorrow. I'll make a couple panels for it, and we'll get it looking good. All right, everybody. Like, share, comment. Jimbo's got his own page. What you're... What's it under? Uh, I guess 2826. 28. Jim Patterson. Yeah, my name, 2826. Yeah. Jim Patterson. I don't know why it's that, but it is. <laughs> it's Jim Patterson. Jim, pa Jim Patterson got his name on there. He's got a YouTube station. Go to that and subscribe. Watch some videos. He's doing a 56 Ozenbeel. He's on to the Seven. 57, sorry. I get <laughs> and you're doing the undercoating now? No, I'm still welding. He's still welding? Yeah, and, and um, slow going, but body mounts and trunk. Anybody that wants to watch someone do something with a torch, Jimbo's the man. Alrighty, see y'all later, see you tomorrow. Happy Friday. <laughs>